this team can score in other ways as well. We didn't see them score on any set pieces against Goshen on Wednesday, so they've got the ability to get it done in other ways, but so far in this game, it seems on here as he will sub in shortly with the next opportunity available, but you gotta love how Spring Arbor is just penetrating this Grace defense yeah, right now. Shefku here takes it towards the near post and oh. off the post, Spring Arbor just oh. Oh. Lancer's back with it now. Pushing it up is Yvonne Santa Juliana. Eventually it's turned over. Nice play by Louis Shefku. Shefku did a really nice job getting back to that and winning it for his team as it's going to be a little bobble hit there. And Shefku playing this ball cross field. That was well done. Good vision. And it's going to be Jacob Kroll here. Trying Touch to get in. into the box. There's the shot. And it's in the net. Chef Koo with a nice move. He'll be first to it, best him in second, and the ball's still in the air. Swan again. Yeah, nice job by Swan to get the header there, and nice job by Chef Koo to win this one. Chef Koo's played really well, kind of had a little bit of an injury early on in this game, maybe some turf burn or something like that. Now he's gone to the ground with it. And now he's, the ref says play on out of that one. And now he's going to get fouled. That's, that's new players out here. It's just almost a completely different lineup than their starters. Right now it's just Francis Quashi, Christopher Banfi, and Tyler Green, who are from the starting lineup. This is something that we just haven't seen. Sometimes we see Spring Arbor. The ball was actually kept in play here in Spring Arbor. He's looking to move it around. A good move in the middle. They're going to look to push it up here. They have numbers for an attack. He's going to play to the wing. Yeah, Chef Q to hand. Last season. And this ball is being played forward here. Great cut back by Chef Q as he keeps some sort of possession. Now Green back to Chef Q. It's going to be Quashi with it on the outside or trying to switch it out there to the far side, but instead cuts it back in the middle. Procopio. And Aiden Taylor picks it up. Josh Dunn literally just saved defeat for Mount Vernon with that save. Now Taylor bringing on. But he was able to recover. A little bit of a mental mistake there on the keeper and the defender. And then they kind of regained possession, had an opportunity to clear it out, and they just give Spring Arbor a throw in. First will come against Marion, and that'll be on this Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. And then their final match of the green now throws one into swan let's see what he tries to do here plays it through to louis shefku shefku making a man miss unfortunately he gets tripped up but that's going to be a pretty good playing some great matchups then you come back after a couple weeks you play marion you're still trying to figure things out as there's a nice move by muzia but now you're back here tonight against the huntington team restart defensive end Peary wanted to work it back to harold and hanging back and intercepting the pass was shefku for sau there Got to do a little bit better job selling it there, Steve, but it's all right as this ball gets played over the top. To Zoltan Sarani, he cuts it. 
let the first overtime go to nothing in case the ball goes out of bounds. Now this one played over the top. It's a good one. Taylor's got position. Ball being played forward up there to Valentin Deconic. Tries to cut it back on Bestman. Ben comes up on the right side of it. Valentin Deconic trying to put some pressure on Dimitrim Shefku. Team and wearing that captain's band is an honor and a privilege that I'm sure Cole is happy to wear. This will be played out wide from Shefku. Bender trying to make a big run, but it's played back into the middle by Shefku, and then there's a collision from Huntington. Mm. Pretty much that center mid. He is a great facilitator, has great touch, will move the ball around, will pass it around. But yeah, no, Michael Procopio playing really far up, way higher than we're used to seeing. Yeah, and I think what head coach Josh Oakley has realized is that he's been involved in quite a few of the Cougars' goals this season as he sets a, one up here. Yeah, good opportunity, and another one across the box. Zoltan Sarani cuts it down towards the baseline, a shot on Frank. Ball played forward, Muzio with it. Playing and onto the far side with Shefku. A great run there from Aiden. Yeah. Messenger jumps. Yeah, and these are two teams that probably aren't going to see receive those at-large bids. I mean, yeah, Spring Arbor is ranked 12th, but you got to win at least a couple games in the tournament if you're going to get that bid. Played upon, or preyed upon, by Partain. Russell to Shefku. Spins away from both Matipa and Alsate. Sends it down to Bender, who had to hit the break. Kwashi in the defensive end for SAU. Long pass up to Shefku, trying to elude Harold and hold. A lot of pushing and shoving going on down there. As the ball squirts out to Shefku on the near sideline. 90 seconds left to go here. He works it back into the corner. Taylor has it now. To it, but it, the Lancers get to the second ball. Good job there. It was Francis Kwashi able to kick it out. And that's a, just a nice play there. Cole. Up to Cole Russell. And has recovered. Hawarda was unhappy with something going on with Tyler Green. And it's good to see the whole Hawarda will be able to stay in the match here after missing a hand. Really don't want to let this to go to PKs because they have all the advantage in the world right now. But here's an opportunity for the Cougars. Shefku and Russell up top. It's Shefku on the ball. Cuts it to the right. He's tackled outside of the box. It's going to be... Twenty-one seconds left on a goal by Hunter Gibbons. to that and got a couple words uh, from the Spring Harbor defender but that's a great ball play there down to James Hansen on the near just over one minute now remaining in this first half it's been intense a lot of pushing and shoving not too many fouls though the score is zero to zero throw goes in it was trying to find Bruno Piva de Castro and stolen away But on the attack, that's number seven, Rodrigo Sequeira. Good job there by Shefku. Gets possession back. Grace here in the attacking third. And it's turned over. Tackle there. Nice job to get the ball back.
Ball still loose. Rene Diaz tried to get it. No go. Here's Arecchio now. Arecchio gets this one. Now Boney. Boney double teamed. Ball loose. Sidney gets it. A wall here. It'll be Richard Ontiveros, number 16 on the ball. Plays it to the outside. Manny takes a rip at the top of the key. Defender, and it's great to have some of that size out there as well. We'll see how he's able to hold up throughout the remainder of this game. And now that's great defense there. And the Cougars are trying to get that ball back, but John, it seems like they're, they're sort of letting those defensive backs possess the ball at least a little bit, and now they're going to come up with an interception. It's a 3v3, Cougars. Trying to move it forward, but a good interception from the Cougars. And just dropping it back into their center back. And now Hill trying to play it forward, but a sliding tackle in the midfield to get that ball. Well done there by Leitrim Shefku. Opportunities for both teams, but neither team have really been able to threaten Something that really has been substantial from Chef Q, but it unfortunately hits off the referee there. Yeah, unfortunate here. It's Michael Procopio, and he'll just play. Oh.